A beloved annual tradition is back in Madison County, a celebration of some of the town's most popular features. Local 5's Nora J.S. Reichardt tells us what made this year's festivities so special. You don't usually see this many people in Winterset every day, but it's a special time of year. The Covered Bridges Festival is back to help ring in the fall, and residents are more ready than ever to show off what their town has to offer. For local business owners like William Moody, the work starts early. He starts preparing his wares as a vendor in the summertime, but getting the whole town ready, the work for the next year starts almost as soon as the festival wraps. But all that work... Oh my gosh, it's really worth it. Yeah. Yeah, but yet at the same time, it's so much fun. And we get to see a lot of people that come from out of town that we don't maybe see, but once a year or so, you know. The festival attracts hundreds of visitors to Madison County, enjoying live music, local food, and more. And some of them come from pretty far away. I met one attendee who came all the way from Florida. Fall in Madison County might be a little different from the Sunshine State, but that change of pace was a welcome one. We've gone into a lot of the local um, shops that make all these handmade things. It's amazing how creative people are. I could never do it myself. Um, and we're about to go get some food and it smells amazing. It's now been more than half a year since the tornado that devastated the town, leaving six people dead. That means that for many festival goers, it's their first time seeing the town since that fateful day. The repair and recovery process has taken a lot of time, but locals are proud of how far they've come. The community and surrounding towns and everybody was just wonderful. And so, yeah, we're very fortunate. It's, it's a great little town. Yeah, we all take care of each other. In Winterset, this is Nora J.S. Reichardt for Local 5 News. We are Iowa.